started to realize it's not so much as the perps themselves, but your own phone that's uh, acting against you when it comes to this. Because it's just it's just allowing uh, a lot of just access to it to other, uh, you know, uh, foreign companies and stuff like this and all kinds of stuff. And they're just they're just able to access it. What can a cell phone spyware software do? Mobile spy software is a powerful way to monitor all your phone's activity in no time. Just when the software gets downloaded and installed onto the target's device, it starts tracking all the stored information from the phone and stores it on the server. An authorized user can view the content anytime by just logging into the web account, which is password protected. Even the data, which is trashed, can be viewed by the user. Let's talk about the content that can be spied. Read the text messages and emails, phone call logs in textual format, record the phone calls and listen to it later, real-time GPS locations, phone contents, contacts, and other information attached with it. Browsed web history, instant messenger chats, WhatsApp, Facebook, BBM, and fiber chats, multimedia images, pictures, videos, and audio files. So you see all your phone actions can be tracked along with the date and time print and with the help of a spy app, which hits on your phone in incognito mode without giving you any signs that you are being monitored. The famous ones are FlexiSpy, MSpy, and Heister Mobile, which profits the child monitoring, employee monitoring, and cheating spouse apps that reasonably price in various versions to best suit the consumer. Paradigms to detect the presence of spyware on your device. Although it is very tough to detect these best Android spy apps running on your device as the aforementioned popular spy software has been provided to a great extent, to not let the user know about the spy app by any means, but still there are some signs uh, with which you can detect its existence in the space. Check out how device reboots unanticipate. Unanticipatedly, this often happens when your phone is affected with some virus program, but check if your phone's home screen, and I'm, I feel like I'm talking like a robot, but I'm going to try to uh, stop that. Stream gets lightened up automatically and it is restraining every now and then there's a possibility that a spy software is present in the phone of course the good spy app has lowered the frequency of this weak feature yet you can find it happening sometimes depleted phone's battery if your device battery is draining faster than normal then it's it's a uh, substantial clue for you to understand that there is some perpetual process running at the background which is using your phone's battery life although all the powerful spy software has revamped this weak point in their software but the phones which are installed with the older versions can better relate to this sign to detect it constant cacophony in the device the call record and listening feature available in the monitoring app leads to some disturbance when you make or take the phone call Sometimes this happens because of a poor connection, but be careful if you hear some background noises every time during the phone calls. Perhaps the constant dissonance in the phone means that someone must be eavesdropping. Overblown internet usage. All the monitoring apps are required to have a strong internet Wi-Fi connection to track the information in the form of log files. Hence, the massive file can maximize the data usage of the monitored person's cell phone. That's why I always do the unlimited thing. Because if you try to do it through a contract, they will just run the hell out of your bill. So you got to be very careful about that. Just, the, the, you know, play it safe. Just get the uh, the 50 something dollar, the 60 something dollar unlimited everything and you're good to go. Overblown Internet usage. All the monitoring apps are required to have a strong Internet Wi-Fi connection to track the information in form of log files, hence the mass of files can maximize the data usage of the monitored person's cell phone. Although with the advanced and improved monitoring apps, the data consumption is lowered and, on, and is only observable of large videos are getting transferred on the server. Messages from unknowns. Although this glitch exists only in the indigent and poor quality spy software, but sometimes the flash Messages in the finest software can stand out to ensure you, the monitoring, 
apps existence in your mobile phone, the content in these text. So basically what this is, what this is getting at is that they are installing spyware on your phone or spy apps. And with every app that uh, comes up to detect that specific spyware or app, it's like they are updating to something new that that particular software can't detect it, you know? And that's pretty much how they're constantly good. So with, with every thing that they invented to detect this specific thing, they're inventing something to basically hide from that specific thing. And that's what this is. Um, messages, but it doesn't mean that, you know, you can't find it. Okay, so, um, yeah, 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 messages from unknown, from, uh, unknowns. Okay, uh, just be regular for a Sage or, uh, messages or messages containing some rare symbols and numbers. There exists some programs that use the SMS to remotely execute the commands on the target's user's smartphone. How to check spy software in iPhone. Now, these are this is for iPhone users. I'm not an iPhone user. I don't really care too much for those phones. Um, I only prefer user-friendly phones. And no offense to iPhone users, but iPhone is very, very, um, very much of a pain. If that phone gets, it, it costs a lot of money to hack those. But if they do get hacked, it is very, very difficult um, to undo it. So, you know, due to it not being user friendly. So honestly, I would not even recommend even dealing with that. Okay, so they say iPhone is very easy and quick to check for any spyware installation. Yes, you read it right. How perhaps is your next question? Keep scrolling to learn about the simplest way to discover the same. In case you find your Apple device is jailbroken without your knowledge, then definitely it's plausible that the spy software is installed in it to keep a check on you. Remember the spy apps installed. Now, for this, for what they're saying, it's a lot easier to find the spyware on your iPhone if you know what to do. But for Android, it's a lot more difficult due to it being user-friendly, so it's a lot easier for them to hide it. But also, using Android makes it a lot more easier... Uh, for you to manage your stuff too since it's so user friendly but again if you know what you're doing on an iphone you'll be able to easily find it now for iphone users don't worry i'm going to read this for you as well it's plausible that the spy software is installed in it to keep a check on you remember the spy apps installed needs the iphone to be jailbroken first in fact any third party application that needs to be installed on the device iphone ipad needs to be jailbroken second Best option is to look for the Sadia app onto the device. Sometimes the app is hidden to dodge the user that the device is not jailbroken, but not found not finding the Cydia app on the mobile phone doesn't mean that it is not set free from the limitations. Try another technique in case Cydia app is hidden, then you can manage then you can again initiate with the jail break process to get uninsured. Just when you are run the program, it will alert you with a message that it has already been jailbroken. Hence, with all these simple and uncomfortable ways you can check whether your iPhone device is monitoring you or not, how to check spy software for Android and BlackBerry. I don't ever use the BlackBerry, never will. To detect spyware on any other iDevice, you need to click on the settings option in the mobile. Therefore, go to applications, manage applications, or running services. Here, perhaps you will be able to find the spy files. Although with the advanced and hidden high tech measures, it's not a piece of cake to detect any of the spy or monitoring files in the phone's managing applications. But if you find any files and with some awkward name or an alphabet numeric style then it might be a log file of the cell phone monitoring application so if you're wondering you just go to your files go to um internal storage and uh go to data and stuff like that you'll just see like a whole bunch of files and what you want to do is look for something throughout there that just does not uh this, that should not be there basically and what I really want to do is um, try to find a video of someone who really knows their stuff about this, who does like a video walkthrough of what should be, what to expect in the uh, files and in internal storage. So that way, like you'll know what to look for, what's not supposed to be there, what should be there. So when you see something that doesn't add up, that she has no business being there, you can just, you know, just delete it, get rid of it. It's gone. Bottom line. So 
look for the information and signs carefully to smoke out the presence of any spyware in your device. You can easily uninstall the bugging app from your cell phone and protect it from getting invaded by someone. To learn more about how to get rid of the spyware, please refer to my article, How to Remove Cell Phone Spyware and Protect Your Phone. Now, in my case, right, with their hacking that they're doing, they're constantly trying to uh, keep me uh, fixed on this specific IP of which they are able to gain access. Every time I change the IP, they change it back to this specific IP. I'm not going to say what it is, but in my case, that's what they're doing. And whenever it's on that IP, that's where all these hacks are coming from. So if you get the IP changer from, you know, the play, the uh, Google Play Store and you change it, you'll notice that it constantly changes back to a specific IP every time you try to make the change. So it's not that you don't have the ability to change your IP. It's just that they are screwing with it to prevent you from changing it. So you, what you want to do is figure out what where basically what you need to do when it comes to this stuff is find those hidden files in your internal storage wherever it's hidden and uh, try to find that something and use this I'm gonna leave the link to this so you have it as a guide and uh, find some type of unusual uh, text or anything that does not seem right that's in your file storage right do that and uh, what you want to do is get rid of that and um, but again honestly it's best to know what you're doing when you dig into those files because that stuff could be really really hidden um so yeah you want to do that and i'm actually being hit right now with these weapons um so yeah you want to do that and then you want to um change your uh ip and then you want to try to find a way to hide your ip which is with a vpn vpn is the best thing to hide your ip so once you hide it you know they won't be able to really fuck with you but um yeah that's that's pretty much your best bet that's my um that's my advice to you on that basically once you get rid of the spyware and all that stuff change you know change your ip go ahead and initiate the uh, vpn and then you're good to go but for some reason right it's like at times i'll have my vpn on but then they'll have they'll be able to just um like change the shit around so i think they do this right when you first get your phone i noticed that they are constantly trying to get your ime I M E E I M E I D or M E I something number, whatever they call that. It's like they are constantly trying to get that, right? So I think they get that to clone your phone, basically. So they'll get that number and just, you know, lace that or place it onto another phone, which allows them to clone your phone in particular. So I think that's how they're cloning phones. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vid right here. I might do a, uh, um, I'm gonna do the next video soon. Uh, for the two videos I want you all to watch. Um, in fact, you know what? Better yet, better yet. No, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna just leave the links to the, uh, to those two videos in this video, just so you can just go straight to it. Now, I warn you, I warn you. Um, I'm gonna have it in. I'm gonna have it uh, titled. I'm gonna have the links titled. What they don't want you to, uh, what they don't want you to see, part one, and what they don't want you to see, part two. Part one is gonna have the link to the first video I want you to want watch. Part two is gonna have the uh, link to the second video I want want you want you to watch. You need to watch this in order, okay? And as for the uh, spy engage, I'll have that listed on underneath the, in the description for this video as well. Um, until then, uh, you know, it's all uh, take care of you all. I hope uh, everybody's uh, life is at least going somewhat pleasant, minus the targeting. As you know, they're going to try to screw over your life as best as you can, but you know, you got to stay happy. You got to stay positive. got to uh, fight, continue fighting the good fight, because if you don't, that's when they're going to end up taking over and run, running you down into the mud, man. So, uh, again, I'm about to go ahead and end this video. Uh, remember, the stuff, is gonna, the stuff you need to watch is going to be right, or, well, the stuff you need to watch and the stuff for this uh, for this website is going to be in the uh, link in the description, okay? Anyway, uh, without further ado, um, wait a minute. No, not there. Go here.